Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study YouTube channel. Physics is always a difficult subject for me. I have seen so many students come to the medical sector just to avoid physics or math related subjects. I am one of them. But if we want to learn ultrasound, then unfortunately we have to deal with physics again. It's because when you do ultrasound, you place one of your hands over the patient's body. This hand knows everything about the patient. Your another hand is placed over the ultrasound machine. If this hand knows nothing about the machine, half of your reports will become wrong. So no matter you like or not, you have to go with ultrasound physics. We are going to upload several parts of our basic ultrasound lecture here making small segments which you may find helpful. So I would love to request you to consider subscribing our YouTube channel and follow us on other social platforms. All the links will be given on the description box below. Today we will discuss about sound and ultrasound. Since your school life, you have gone through the sound chapter on your science classes. We are now going to recap those chapters. Sound is a form of mechanical energy. It needs a medium to travel, which may be solid, liquid or gas. Sound transmits producing alternating compression and rarefaction. You have also learned that sound or any energy can be converted into another form of energy. That may take our attention especially when you are going to learn about ultrasound bi-effects, which needs a separate lecture to cover. I have drawn a sound wave here. This is compression and this is rarefaction. Forming this, sound passes through a medium. The distance between two compressions or rarefactions is called the wavelength, represented with lambda. Number of wavelengths per second is called the frequency unit of which is per second or hours. Human ear can detect sound frequencies between 20 and 20,000 hours. This is the highest range. Our actual range is a little shorter. Dog, bat, dolphin, whale and so many other creatures can hear more frequencies even 100 or 200,000 hours sounds. Sound frequency below 20 hours is called infrasound and frequency above 20,000 Hz is called ultrasound. So ultrasound is the sound waves, the frequency of which is above 20,000 Hz. It is inaudible to human. Ultrasound has many medical and non-medical uses, like industrial use, natural use, and so many. I have a separate lecture on my YouTube channel regarding different ultrasound uses. To know more about those, you can check the link on the description box below or you can check the card above. Now let's talk about the diagnostic ultrasound. What frequency we use to diagnose a disease? Our diagnostic range changes with time. Right now we are telling you that the diagnostic frequency range of ultrasound is 1 to 30 megahertz. Megahertz, that is a huge. 10 to the power 6 hertz means megahertz. Okay, that's a big number. Nowadays, ultrasound has been divided into several subspecialties. One of these is ophthalmic ultrasound. In ophthalmic ultrasound, to visualize the antechamber or to do the antechamber by microscopy, we are using 50 to 100 megahertz frequency experimentally. Even journal shows there has been use of 200 megahertz. So now a question arises on your mind. Why do we need high frequencies? Why don't we use 21,000 Hz only? Why are we searching for 100 MHz? What is the benefit of these frequencies? We'll answer this question on our next videos. But if you have any idea, don't forget to put it on the comment box below. Thank you for watching this video. If you want our next videos about this ultrasound basics, please consider subscribing our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our next posts. Have a nice day. See you on the next one.